Hey y'all, I am making cream cheese chicken crack chili. That's a lot of C's and I hope I didn't just jack that name all up. But this is a recipe that I found on Pinterest, but I made my own adjustments to make it the way that I wanted to make it. So let's just say it's a remix recipe off of Pinterest. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients. It's real, real easy. It's basically like throwing everything in a pot and letting it simmer. I did go ahead and pre-cook my chicken. I ended up using six chicken thighs, but you can use rotisserie chicken and debone it. You can use breast if you want to. I personally like chicken thighs because they're very forgiving and they do not dry out like chicken breasts. So especially for something simmering or something that's going to get more heat, I just prefer thighs. But you can use any type of chicken you want as long as it's not got skin on it and it's not boned. So yeah, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but let me show you the ingredients, okay? All right, this is a lot of stuff to try to get in this frame, so I'm probably going to have to lift it. it would be a lot easier. But this is my six skinless boneless chicken thighs and I bake these in the oven on 375 for about 25 minutes you just bake them until they're done some thighs are really tiny some thighs are thicker so you know the time that you cook them may vary but um, I put black pepper cumin a little bit of cayenne because I like things spicy um, granulated garlic Lori season salt and you don't have to be specific with what you season your chicken with or you know you could just even boil your chicken boil it in a little chicken broth or throw you a bouillon in to just flavor it if you don't want to like season your chicken because it's going to be seasoning you know pretty plenty of seasoning within the recipe but i like to season my chicken i'm just the person that's really heavy on spice and i like heat but like i said you don't have to use those seasonings even old classic salt and pepper would do on this chicken Okay, we have about three-fourths of a cup of bacon. We have seasoning, which is a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of chili powder, and a teaspoon of onion powder. We have 12 ounces of cream cheese, which is a brick and a half. We're gonna use about two and a half cups of this chicken stock more or less depending on your taste if you want it thinned out more we're using rotel which i love rotel which is diced tomatoes and green chili peppers then this is an ounce of hidden valley ranch i have the big economy size ranch from sam's club so i just measured out some in there and left my packets for other things and then we have a can of rinsed black beans and a can of rinsed pinto beans. Or let's just say with the pintos, I didn't rinse them, but with the black beans, I did because the, you know, the um, solution that they're in or the water is real black and I don't want my chili to look discolored. But like the pintos, I didn't think that they really needed to be rinsed, but to each their own. And these pintos in particular, I got the ones with onion, but I didn't mean to. And I really was going to change it up and put um, chili beans in it because like I said, I really like spice and I like everything to be seasoned. But for the purpose of this recipe, I wanted to use what I used last time and what I already have in my typed up recipe. But you can change these beans. If black beans isn't your thing, you don't have to use them. If pintos aren't your thing, you don't have to use them. You can use kidney beans, chili beans, white beans, whatever kind of beans you want to use. Then here we have a cup of cheese. Now, last time I think I used cheddar cheese, but this, well, this actually is cheddar cheese. It's like a blend of four cheddar cheeses by Serengeto. But really, you can use any type of cheese. Short cheddar, regular cheddar, four cheese cheddar, whatever you like. And we have baby gold and white corn, which is the kind that I prefer. I always like the niblets, which is hard to find for some reason. Or I like the white and gold mix. Or you can just use plain old sweet corn. And this size bag is a 14.4 ounce. Alright, so we're going to turn this on a medium heat. And I'm going to start with, for the sake of things not sticking, which this is a non-stick pan, but still. I'm going to start with my two and a half cups of chicken broth. To have that on the bottom. And I'm saying broth. This is chicken stock. I prefer the stock. So 
All right, so two and a half of that. And basically from here on out, everything else is just gonna be pretty much be dumping. So we'll start with the frozen corn because I feel like that has to cook a little bit more than the other things. I'm gonna turn my heat up just a little bit where the corn is froze. So we got the frozen corn in there. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the whole can of Rotel. Remember that's undrained. One ounce of Hidden Valley Ranch dressing, seasoning, not dipped mix, not dip mix, excuse me. We're gonna put our two cans of beans. One is black beans, one is pinto. And like I said, you use whatever type of bean you want. I really tend to like chili beans and kidney beans, but this is what I used last time, so I decided to use it today. And like I said, for the sake of the printed recipe, but you all use whatever type of beans you want. Same with cheese. Then we're gonna take our teaspoon of cumin, tablespoon of chili powder, and teaspoon of onion powder. Just put that over there on top. So we're basically just gonna wait and let this come to a boil. And not necessarily a high boil, but just getting it started cooking. So yeah, I turned this more up to a high heat, a medium high, more high, and we're gonna let this start to boil. Okay, so we got us a nice little bowl going. It's definitely heated throughout. So the next step is gonna to be to put the 12 ounces of cream cheese in here. I said this is a brick and a half of Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm trying to not splatter myself with it. And I'm one of those people, I want every drop of the food. So now we're gonna to have to let the cream cheese cook down and get equally distributed. And that should take maybe three minutes, maybe three to five. So I'm gonna put the lid on this and let this cream cheese incorporate. All right, y'all, the cream cheese has been on a low boil cooking down for probably about five minutes. And you know, every little lump doesn't have to be out at this point, but you want most of it to be dissolved. So the next step is, and I'm gonna turn my heat up just a little bit, cause it's on a very low, low heat. All right, so I cranked this up a little bit. And the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna add in our cheese and get that melted. This is a cup of cheddar, it's four cheese cheddar. We're just gonna gently stir that. Just getting it all incorporated real good and even. That doesn't have to cook for minutes or anything. It pretty much melts when you put it in there. And the next thing we're gonna do is dump this chicken. And like I said, I use about six to eight thighs, just depending. We're big meat eaters, but I really think three cups of chicken would be enough. This is probably three and a half to four maybe. But you know, you don't have to put this much meat in here if you don't want to. And you know, the more meat that you put, the thicker it's gonna make your soup. But you can also thin it down with chicken broth if need be. So we're just gonna gently fold this. Just basically at this point, wanting everything to get good and heated and warmed back up. And I know I've told y'all about these spoons. Honey, get you one. These are the best spoons. My grandma taught me that about these spoons that are flat on the end. They're so good for like scraping the bottom of your pan to prevent sticking. I mean, they're just wonderful. They're great for when you want to break something up. Like if I want to break some cream cheese up on the side, it's just a great, great spoon. And then the next thing is the three fourths a cup of cooked bacon pieces or eight pieces of thick bacon or 
<laughs> I hate to say 16, but let's just say a pack of regular bacon. We'll say that. It's a lot of bacon. You know, a pack of bacon doesn't really make that much bacon in my opinion. And something else that I'm going to do, which is just, you know, my preference. You don't have to do this either. But I like to put a little sprinkle of sugar because I feel like any time that you have a tomato product, you need sugar to knock down the wang and the bitterness. This is probably about a teaspoon and a half. I might not use all that. I just want to put a little on the top because if I need more later, I can always add it. So I say I may have put a teaspoon if even that. I see, I just want to gently fold it. And you know, if this is too thick for you, you could add more broth, but I think I'm going to leave it like this. It's going to thicken up some during cooking. And you know, if you have to add broth right before you even eat it, it's fine. But I'm going to let this simmer on a low heat, maybe for about five, 10 minutes, and just let the flavors incorporate. So, while this is doing its low simmer thing for five to 10 minutes, I'm going to chop up a red onion. You could put, um, trying to think about toppings. You could use a onion. I'm just happy to be using red. I like red onions because they're pretty, but I typically cook with sweet onions, but something like this for garnish, I tend to like red onions. But I'm going to use red onions. I'm going to use fresh cilantro. I know a lot of people don't like cilantro, but me and my family love it. We're going to use more cheese on top, sprinkled cheese. We're going to use sour cream. Me and Maddie love sour cream. Maddie is a sour cream enthusiast. And I also got some store-bought salsa, if anybody wants that. And today, I'm going to serve it with tortilla chips. I might whip up some cornbread. I'm not really sure. It's getting kind of late, and I'm a little bit behind today. So it may just be tortilla chips. But the cornbread or the tortilla chips is an option if you like that. I think even a, gr a grilled cheese would be good with this. I've never had that, but you know, whatever you want, whatever floats your boat. But like I said, again, I'm going to use red onion, cilantro, sour cream, and salsa. I think that's it. But you know, you go on and show us whatever you want to or don't use anything at all if you don't feel it needs it. The soup is pretty good on its own, let me tell you. So I'll be back with the finished product. Hey guys, so this has been simmering for about 10 minutes. So let's take the lid off and see what we got. Just a real, real low simmer. It just needed to get heated up and let the flavors mingle. And that's pretty much it. No, that's not the best lighting. Maybe I should turn this around a little bit. Let's try it like here and see maybe. That's a little bit better. But that's it. Cream cheese, crack, chicken, chili. So I put in a little taste in here. So I can let you guys know how it tastes. And remember, with this and all your food, taste it. See if you think it needs more seasoning. And when I actually sit down to eat, I'm going to put, you know, sour cream on mine and cilantro and all that good stuff and red onions. But this is just it straight out the pot. I just had this little bite cooling, which it still seems pretty hot. So let's taste it and see if it needs anything. This is not for y'all. That's good. I think the only thing missing for me is maybe I'll slice up a little jalapeno. I would like the crunch, which I know the onions are going to add crunch, but I'd also like the heat. But as far as the seasoning goes, it's good for me. You may want a little bit more seasoning, but I think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good, y'all. So thank y'all for tuning in. I hope you all make this. Easy peasy, really tasty. It's a nice break from traditional chili. You know, if you want something Mexican, but you want something a little different, this has got you. It's pretty good. So thank you all for tuning in. Please follow me on YouTube. Like me on Facebook. Um, Where else am I at? Instagram, you name it, I'm pretty much there. So I would really appreciate if you all follow me on social media. 
And I really appreciate if you shared these videos. If you like what you see, please, 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 please share. So today was easy peasy and simple. And I hope you all enjoy. I love feedback. Always willing to, not willing, but wanting to know what you all think about these recipes. All right, y'all. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.